this is the history of Japan, the official history. The official hi history? They didn't even put, I guess, at the end. No. So, is it this even the history? This one is a deadly laser. Wait, what is, oh, the, oh, yeah. Sin is a deadly laser. That, that's the best part of that video. But now we have, from the same creator that did the history of the entire world, I guess. Bill Wirtz, I think The history of Japan, or just history of Japan. Not I guess, and not the entire. Just All right, history. let's do this. Don't know a ton about Japan history, to be honest. But for uh, for like the West, a lot of Western countries, Japan is one of the Asian countries a lot of people know quite a bit about. I guess Western people find it, at least American, some American people find it very interesting. So this should be really interesting to learn about the history the only, outside of Pokemon. The only education we get on the history of Japan is when it involves a Western country. Yeah, like, like World War II. Yeah, some like conflict or... Um, stuff like that it's pretty much it's pretty much like oh yeah there were samurais here and then world war, war II. Two. <laughs> that's pretty much all we get so uh this should be really interesting to a nice comedic overview of uh the history of japan i'm assuming so let's do it right here right now if you enjoy subscribe like the video we have a bunch of geography videos on the channel um, we from Asia to Europe to history to South America. We got a lot of stuff on here If you're from Japan too and you like some J-pop go check out our main channel We have a whole J-pop playlist over there with some J-pop song. J-pop. Yeah. Anyways, let's do this. Here we go Japan is an island by the sea filled with volcanoes and it's beautiful. Wow In the year negative a billion Japan might not have been here in the year negative uh, 40,000, it was here, and you could walk to it, okay. and some people walked to it. That's epic. But it got warmer, some icebergs melted, it became an island, and now there's lots of trees, because yeah. it's warmer. So now there's people on the island, they're basically sort of hanging out in between the mountains, eating nuts on yes. the trees, and using the latest technology, like stones, and bowls. Ding dong, it's the outside world, and they have technology from the future, like really uh -oh. good metal, and crazy rice farms. Now you can make a lot of rice really, really quickly. That means if you own the farm, you own a lot of food, which is something oh. everybody needs to survive. So that makes you king. Rice farming and rice kingdoms spread across the land all the way to here. The most important kingdoms were here, 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 and here. That's a this lot. one was the most, most important, Your ruled by a heavenly superperson, or emperor for short. Knock, knock, get the door. It's religion. The new prince wants everyone to try this hot new religion from Biet. Oh, please try this religion, he said. No, said everybody. Try it, he said. No, said everybody again, quieter this time. And so the religion was put into place, and all the rules that came with it. Then the government was taken over by another clique, and they made some reforms, like making the government govern more, and making the government more like China's government, which is a government that governs more. Hi, China, they said. Hi, dipshit, said China. Oh, no. <laughs> something else other than dipshit, said Japan. Like what, said China. How about sunrise land, said Japan. <laughs> and they stole China's alphabet and wrote a book about themselves. Hey, then yeah. they made lots of poetry and art and another book about themselves. Then they stopped moving the capital every time the emperor died and kept it in one place for a while. Right here. <laughs> And they conquered the north, finally. Get that squared away. A rich hipster named Kukai is bored rich of the visits China, and learns a better version, which is more spiritual. Comes back, reinvents the alphabet, and causes art and literature to be great for a long time. And the royal palace turned into such a dream world of art that they really didn't give a shit about running the country. So if you uh -oh. outside the palace, how are you supposed to protect your shit? From criminals. Hire us. Protect your ancient iPads. How are you to protect your shit? Dang it. Yeah, and bike bicycles. Little did we know that iPads were invented in ancient Japan. And bicycles. I actually did know that. Okay. Oh, you did? Right. Dang. From criminals. Hire a samurai. Yes. Everyone started hiring samurai. Rich, important people hired samurai. Poor people who could not afford to hire samurai did not hire samurai. The samurai became organized and powerful. More powerful than the government. So they made their own military government. Here. They let the emperor still be emperor, but the shogun is actually in control. Breaking news, the Mongols have invaded China. We've invaded China, said the Mongols. Please <laughs> respect us, or else we might invade you as well. Okay, said Japan. So the Mongols came over, ready for war, and died in a tornado. But they tried again, oh, no. they had a nice time fighting with the Japanese, but then died in a tornado. Oh. And the emperor overthrows the shogunate. Then the shogunate overthrows him back and moves to Kyoto and makes a new shogunate. And the emperor can still dress like an emperor if he wants, that's fine. Now there's more art. Like painting with less colors, collaborative poetry, plays, monkey fun, tea parties, monkey garden, fun. architecture, flowers. It's time for who's going to be the next shogun. Usually it's the shogun's kid, but the shogun doesn't have a kid. So he tries to get his brother to quit being a monk and be the next shogun. He says, okay, but then the shogun has a kid. So now who's it going to be? Vote oh. now on your phones. And everyone voted so hard that the palace caught on fire and burned down. The Shogun actually didn't care. He was off somewhere doing poetry. And the whole country broke into pieces. Everyone is fighting oh, wow. with each other for local power, and it's anybody's game. 
Knock, knock. It's Europe. No, they're not here to take over. They just want to sell some shit, like clocks and guns and Jesus. Oh. So that's cool, but everyone's still fighting hey, for control. Now with guns, and wouldn't it be nice to control the capital, which right now is puppets with no one controlling them? This clan is ready to make a run for it, but first they have to trample this smaller clan, which is in the way. Surprise, the smaller clan wins, and the leader of that clan steals the idea of invading the capital and invades the capital, and it goes very well. He's about halfway through conquering Japan when someone who works for him kills him, and then someone oh, else who works for him kills them. Oh, then my. finishes conquering Japan. And then he confiscated everybody's swords and made some rules. And now I'm going to invade Korea and then hopefully China, he said, and failed, and also died. But before no. he died, he told these five guys to take care of his five-year-old son until he's old enough to be the next ruler of Japan. And the five guys said, yeah, right. It's not going to be this kid. It's going to be one of us, because we're grown-ups. And it's probably going to be this guy, who happens to be way more rich and powerful than the others. A lot of people support him. It's probably going to be this guy, who happens to be way more rich and powerful than the others. A it's because he's really rich. Is that why? Is it rich someone or something? It was Donald Trump, wasn't it? To be oh, is it? Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah what the heck? Because he's really rich. Yeah. And powerful. Yeah. And a lot of people support him, but a lot of people support not supporting him. They have a fight, and he wins, and starts a new government, right here. And he still lets the emperor dress like an emperor, and have very nice things. But don't get oh, confused, nice this place. is the new government, and they are very strict. So Jeez, there's so much, like, government, like, switching, like, that's so crazy, yeah, just that's... all the switching. And it's all just in the little valleys between the mountains. It's like it's a mess. Around. It's like they're, uh, it's like the natural disasters there. They, you're gonna get a lot of them. You gotta need a lot of governments to match all yeah, the disasters, true, true. right? They have like a million volcanoes and tsunamis and earthquakes. Japan's in a really rough geological location. That's very unfortunate for them. It's the country. No one can leave and no one can come in, except for the Dutch if they want to buy and sell shit. The but Dutch. They have to do it right here. Now that the entire country was not at war with itself, the population increased a lot. Business increased, schools were built, roads were built, everyone learned to read, books were published, there was poetry, plays, sexy times, puppet shows, sexy and a bunch of studies. People started to study European science from books they bought from the Dutch. We're talking geography, skeletons, physics, chemistry, astronomy, and maybe even electricity. Over time... So is that saying that war is good, right? Yes. Because they stopped war and then all of a sudden stuff started happening. War is good. War makes things happen. Right? Yeah. 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 It's not definitely good. Economic and cultural prosperity began to gradually slow down. Oh, uh, America. It's the United States. Oh, with no. Huge boats with guns. That's not good. Gunboats. Open the country. Stop having it be closed, said the United States. There's really nothing they could do, so they signed a contract that lets United States, Britain, and Russia visit Japan anytime they want. Choshu and Satsuma hated this. That sucks, they said. This sucks. And with almost very little outside help, they overthrew the shogunate and somehow made the emperor the emperor again and moved him to Edo, which they renamed Eastern Capital. They made a new government, which was a lot more Western. They made a new constitution that was pretty Western and a military that was pretty Western. And do you know what else Large. is Western? That's right. It's conquering stuff. So oh, you betcha. Korea. They conquer Korea, taking it from its previous owner, China, and then go a little bit further. And Russia rushes in out of nowhere and says, Stop, no, you can't take that. We were going to build a railroad through here to try to get some warm water. And Russia builds their railroad, supervised by a shit ton of soldiers. And then when the railroad was done, they downgraded to a fuck ton. Did I say oh, my. upgrade? And Japan says, can you maybe chill? And Russia says, how about maybe you chill? Japan is kind of scared of Russia. You'll never guess who's also kind of scared of Russia. Great Britain. So Japan and Great Britain make an alliance together so they can be a little less scared of Russia. Feeling confident, Japan goes to war against Russia, just for a moment, and then they both get tired and stop. It's time for World War I. The world is about to have a war, because it's the 1900s and weapons are getting crazy, and all these empires are excited Gotta to use them. each other. Meanwhile, Japan has been enjoying conquering stuff and wants more. And the next thing on the <laughs> list is this part of China and lots of tiny islands. All that stuff belongs to Germany, which just had war declared on it by Britain because Britain was friends with Belgium, which was being trespassed by Germany in order to get to France to kick France's ass because France is friends with Russia, who was getting ready to kick Austria's ass because Austria was getting ready to kick Serbia's ass because someone from Serbia shot the leader of Austria's ass. Or actually shot him in the head. And Britain is currently friends with Japan. So you know what that means. Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> Which they wanted to do anyway, so they called Britain on the telly to sort of let them know. The telly? And then they oh, did yeah, it. And they also helped Britain a little here and there with some errands and stuff. Now the war is over, and congratulations Japan, you technically fought in the war, which means you get to sit at the negotiating table with and the big dudes, where they decided who owns what. And yes, Japan gets to keep all that shit they stole from Germany. You also get to join the post-war mega alliance, the League of Nations, oh. whose mission statement is to try not to take over the world. 
The Great Depression is bad, and Japan's economy is now crappy, but the military is doing just fine, and it evades oh, Manchuria. Man. In the League of Nations, it's like, no, don't do that. If you're in the League of Nations, you're not supposed to take over the world. And Japan said, how about I do anyway? <laughs> Japan <laughs> invaded more and more and more and more of China. Oh, and it was no. planning to invade the entire East. You've got mail. It's from Germany, the new leader of Germany. He has a cool mustache <laughs> no. and is trying to take over the world and needs friends. This also got forwarded to Italy. They all decided to be friends because they had so much in common. It's time for World War II. Germany is invading the neighbors. Then they invade the neighbors' neighbors. Then the neighbors' neighbors' neighbors, who happened to be Britain, said, Holy shit. And the United States started helping Britain because they are good friends. And started not helping Japan because they're friends and our friends are not friends. Because they're <laughs> invading the entire ocean. The United States is also working on a large, very huge bomb. Bigger than any other bomb. Ever. Just in case. But they still haven't joined the war. War looks bad on TV, and the United States is really starting to care about their image. But then Japan spits on them in Hawaii and challenges Ooh. them to war. And they say yes. And then Germany, as a symbol of friendship, declares war on the United States also. So the United States goes to war in Europe, and they help the gang chase Germany back into Germany. And they also start chasing Japan back into Japan. And they haven't used the bomb yet and are curious to see if it works. So they oh, drop it yeah, yeah. <laughs> They actually drop two. The United Oof. States installed a new government, inspired by the United States government, with just the right ingredients for a post-war economic miracle. And Japan starts making TVs. Wait, you said war is good because you get post-war yeah, economic miracle. Yeah, that's why. VCRs, automobiles, and camcorders as fast as they can, and also better than everybody else. They get rich, and the economy goes wild, and then the miracle wears off. But everything's still pretty cool, I guess. Bye. <laughs> oh, Bye. okay. Wow. And then there was anime. Oh, yeah. And Pokemon. <sighs> and Mitsubishi. Yes. <laughs> that is the history of Japan. Not I guess, just the history. Very, very quick overview. Like literally. Like, pop, 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 yeah, there's a lot of things in like the early history that I didn't really know about. And it just like, I was yeah. trying to soak it, but it was going so fast. I was like, whoa. There's a lot of people involved. There's like this place and this place and this city. Bop, 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 bop. This lot person murdered this. These two places have been at War IV. Yeah, and then World War II happens. You're like, okay, I'm getting some of this. I'm getting some of this. I'm pretty sure part of the reason why they started invading China too was because they were angry that they didn't get as much as Britain and France and mm. them did in the Treaty yeah, of Versailles. They just got to keep what they had instead yeah. of actually gaining land. Yeah, because France got like a bunch of Germany's land and all this stuff. Yeah, so then they're like, I want some stuff. And then Hitler was like, hey, it's me. You want to join the club? Let's join the club. And they're like, all right, let's be friends. And then the nukes came and the, yeah. All right. Probably a bad choice by them. Yeah. All right. That was a really fun video. I like this style. It's like super chaotic and it's just like takes very obviously historic and serious issues and just kind of make some light and funny. Yeah, so you can actually learn from it, you know, yeah. grasp the concept and be like, oh, maybe we shouldn't nuke each other in the future. Yeah, that's probably not good, but economic boom after. Oh, it's the nuke that did it. The nuke boom. Nuclear fallout is actually economic po or post-war economic. <laughs> Japan's boom. economy rose as high as the mushroom cloud. Oh yeah. Is that insensitive? I'm sorry. Possibly. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe, like the video, uh, let us know about other stuff. Japan videos we should do, other history videos, let us know in the comments. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Geography, Trifate Geo. Bye.